Hey guys, it's Michelle. Here's an article from Women's Wear Daily. Gucci sues several retailers alleging they sold counterfeits. Let's read the excerpt. The Italian luxury brand Gucci America Inc. Division filed three lawsuits in Manhattan seeking to protect itself from what alleges were counterfeit goods sold at Sam's Club and Lord and & Taylor. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, this is too funny. <laughs> Mark that as the next battlefront to the Gucci brand, which had reportedly been the target of counterfeits and is active in defending itself. Um, I couldn't help but look at the comments, so I saw this post on Instagram. So let's just look at the comments because they're too funny. Who thought they were buying Gucci for real at Sam's Club? <laughs> Y'all, okay, first of all, um, Gucci, are you in control of your supply chain? Do you know where your bags are going? Um, did you have somebody sell some excess stuff to Sam's Club? Maybe you did, maybe you didn't. I don't know. You guys, this is how it works. Retailers like Vuitton, Louis Vuitton only sells at Louis Vuitton boutiques. They are owned by LVMH. You will never find a Louis Vuitton otherwhere else, like only authorized retailer. Now there's some other brands you might find in authorized retailers only, such as Valentino. I see Valentino in Nordstrom Rack. Um, but some people tell me they find some designer goods at TJ Maxx. I don't know how it gets there. They just need to tighten their supply chain. I mean, everything ends up at TJ Maxx eventually. <laughs> So maybe everything ends up at Sam's Club. This person says, I only get my Gucci and Prada gear straight from the source. Canal Street sidewalk, maybe. Go for it. Um, well, the sad thing that the knockoffs are probably of higher quality than Gucci's real thing. I'm not going to disagree there. Maybe if Gucci actually invested in quality materials to produce quality goods, the real thing would be more easily distinguishable from the knockoffs. <laughs> Good point. Good point. As you know, I do have some knockoffs back there behind me. And being a former client advisor for Louis Vuitton, I will attest that some of these knockoffs are better than the stuff that I would try to peddle to you guys at the store for up to $4,000 for some of the bags, okay? Would it be a problem if Gucci were actually making a high quality product? So here's another um, comment about the product. It's hard to knock off something like a Birkin because the quality is unmistakable and they don't do garish nonsense. Meanwhile, Gucci throws their ugly logo on any old thing and calls it a day. Very easy to steal. And since they're so low quality, hardly anyone looks closely to see if it's real, much like Louis Vuitton. I wholeheartedly agree with this statement because if you look at a Gucci bag lately or even a Vuitton, they are, um, they're mass produced. They're not like they were before and they're easily, easily copied. I would say a little bit different for a Birkin because the leather has to be exact, but the leather of some of the Gucci's and Vuitton's are not the highest in leather. They are at best mid leather and I mean mid quality leather. Like I'm not trying to be one of those people that's like, eh, you're mid. It really is like middle of the line leather. They are not using top of the line leather on Gucci and Vuitton. They are using a better leather than what you would find at, say, um, TJ Maxx or Macy's. However, the bags that sold at Vuitton for, let's say, $2,500 to $3,000, and that was when I was working there. So now a good quality leather bag, the, the kind they call in the leather category, would be probably starting $3,000. Well, I can tell you from experience that those $3,000 bags should be made of top, toppest quality, toppest, highest quality, <laughs> highest quality leather, but they're not. They're still made with like middle of the road, middle of the line leather and same with Gucci. So if you're like, oh my gosh, gushing over this bag, it really is just gushing over the logo. Same with Chanel, uh, the lambskin bag that I have, the leather is a very poor quality, especially for the prices that they ask for. Okay, speaking of leather, uh, I've got to show off this leather jacket from The Jacket Maker. I ordered this moto jacket in silver. I just wanted it to be different, you know, I didn't want to wear a black jacket like everyone else. And it's a good little jacket for the holidays, fully lined. Guess the price of this, guys. This 
Um, the company makes these jackets for a very reasonable price. You can even get them custom made. I'm 5'4 and I'm wearing a size small. And this jacket costs, will cost you around $300. Good deal, right? The details of this jacket, it's pretty good for the price for $300. There's quilting, the stitching is great, the leather feels great. It even has a quilted lining. So if this jacket can be made for $300, just think about those poor Gucci handbags. <laughs> oh, I love this one. Gucci not realizing that that's just the quality of their actual product. <laughs> True. <laughs> Not the Sam Club Gucci bag. Ah. I'm sorry, if Gucci, if you're buying Gucci at Sam's, then I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Gucci has street value. Counterfeit, other brands are, for those in the know, interesting collectibles. A bit like a Picasso poster. I agree with this. I have seen flocks of Gucci for months now. People love it. And I've seen that people will adore a fake Gucci, but don't even know Marc Jacob deals when they see it. Wish his ready to wear were more joyous as they once were. I agree with that because I'm a fan of Marc Jacobs, but I do agree with the um, counterfeits being interesting collectibles. So, I mean, part of that is that like brands like Gucci and Vuitton and Chanel because of social media have become so trendy that it's like really silly to save up for a bag that you're just gonna use for a season. So they turned to Canal Street. Um, totally makes sense to me. Now here's another comment I'm going to address. Human trafficking is the reason you should not be buying Gucci counterfeit. You know, in the past um, few weeks, I've been getting comments from former Vuitton employees like myself, but they've worked at the, both the factory and at corporate, and they've described the environment to me. And let's just pull it up. They both state, so one gal worked at the factory and one gal worked at corporate. They both state that you have to sleep with your boss in order to be considered for a promotion. Um, that might not be human trafficking, but it sure is exploitation. And I can tell you, just gonna grab one. Okay, we're gonna do this. My little replica here, not Canal Street, but a very high quality replica. I kid you not, people drool over this. And if I look at this with my eyeballs, the painting, the glazing, that's the painting on the side of the bag, is actually done better than the real deal. Because I know how quickly the glazing is done in the Vuitton factory, I have a video about it. They've got to meet quotas. And there's no way this is done by a child. This is done by an expert. Okay, now I'll put this down before I get in trouble for showing you guys that. All right. So anyways, my point is, my point is, um, <laughs> not just to roast this, not just to roast this Gucci suing. It's funny. Uh, before Gucci was owned by whoever owns Gucci, uh, who is, before Gucci was owned by Kering, Gucci was its own brand. If you saw that awful movie, I couldn't even watch the first 15 minutes of it. It was so bad. But even the real Gucci story, the Gucci brothers said they loved counterfeits because it's basically free advertising. As that one commenter said, like it's street cred and it makes people want the logo more. So go for it. But you know, corporate greed, we got to sue everyone and everything and don't buy your Gucci from Sam's Club. Go to the Gucci boutique. That's the only way you know that you're getting the real deal. Thank you for joining my short little video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments if you've bought your Gucci from wherever, anywhere but a Gucci boutique. I'd love to know. And if you want to support my channel, I also have a membership portion. If you like the jacket, check out the details for the jacket in the bottom in the description. My name's Michelle. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.